Welcome back to St John's Laboratory video protocol series. In this video, we take you through a basic immunocytochemistry staining protocol. After growing your cells in the laboratory, you will need to fix them prior to any antibody application. It is important to be aware of the monolayer structure both before and after this process is carried out. Using a pipette, gently dispense 4% paraformaldehyde down the side of each well. Ensure not to disrupt the cell monolayer and incubate for 20 minutes. Once the cells are fixed, remove the paraformaldehyde and visualise each well under the microscope, monitoring for any changes in the monolayer. As an optional step, if you're trying to identify internal epitope sequences, you will need to permeabilise the cells. Wash the cells with PBS and then apply a fresh batch of PBS containing 0.1% saponin and incubate for 1-5 to five minutes. Following another rinse with PBS, remove each slide from its well and invert onto a humidifier block to expose the cells to 5% VSA and PBS. The cells are face down on the blocking solution and incubated for one hour, and care should be taken to prevent air bubbles forming under the surface. Following blocking, return the slides to the wells and clean the humidifier unit. Apply the primary antibody and incubate at room temperature for one hour. Wash with PBS three times to remove any primary remnant. Carry out your secondary antibody application in a similar manner to that of your primary. Ensure that your secondary antibody is conjugated with an appropriate fluorophore for visualising the protein of interest. Incubate this for one hour under foil to prevent bleaching of the fluorophores. Then carry out a PBS wash, keeping the slides under foil to prevent bleaching. Finally, to complete the process, rinse your slides in demineralized water, ready for mounting and visualizing under the microscope. 